<laughs> that is a very good question. Uh, yeah, actually, it's the first visit to Korea in, in uh, regarding hydrogen. But I have been here um, before because my previous uh, activities have been in mobile business. Yeah. So uh, Korea is uh, top in technology, so I'm happy to be here also with hydrogen again. Um, I'm impressed of the exhibition. So I saw a lot of interesting technologies and um, I see that um, Korea is moving very fast ahead. No, interesting why is the, the Enapta campus is uh, in the core technology part where we have our um, fabrication, uh, storages, um, is completely um, on time. So we will start to move in by end of this year. So where, what we postpone is um, the uh, parking house because of a lot of uh, metals and uh, is needed. So the prices was skyrocketing when we started uh, the building, and we was we are now waiting that uh, prices get uh, building prices get a little bit back to normal. So are not built there because we use the similar areas uh, of uh, Italy because we have in Italy. Uh, also our um, big um, factory ground and this is enough for the moment. Uh, also today our head of R&D and we remain very strong in all this kind of uh, R&D aspects. EL 4.0 we start to roll out just now is a product which is 17 kilo lighter than the predecessor. So that is enormous for this kind of small box. It can work with AC or DC uh, it can be air cooled yeah. or liquid cooled yeah. and it has all this kind of fantastic software abilities what we have in our system. Okay. It's completely safe. Yeah. It's also yeah. much easier to mass fabricate. Mm. Yes, it's, it's too early um, but um, we, we, we have always seen when we actually have to new things on the market. So when we refine the mass fabrication and we get experience with mass fabrication, then we will actually change the design of the system most probably as well. And then we actually have to bring up new systems on the market. So from the past, we have done every one, one and a half year new devices. Well, we used it in our home, in the Pissure house. Yeah. Uh, for used it for two years. Yeah. And the system was working fine. Yeah. But a lot of other parts in the system was broken very easily. The electronics, yeah. piping things we could repair easily. So, and everyone in the market said, oh, but, but we had four IM electrolyzer and all were working after two years, every day, only the other parts. The vision was, first I saw it, and it's always the best what you can do if you see things. And the second is that we understood that the system can be built very, very cheap. And when you make a cheap hydrogen generator, you make cheap hydrogen. And when you make cheap hydrogen, you replace fossil fuel. When you replace fossil fuel, you help the world against global warming. Uh, so all, all, all parts in the, in the in internal stack are technical-wise produced in-house. But what we use is we use some pre-materials yeah. which will be cast or changed in the way that it is uh, better useful and uh, for us. So the entire stack, um, building the stack, uh, coating techno technology is uh, based from us in-house. And um, uh, this is the reason why we actually are the first and the only company which run an IEM um, electrolyzer completely. 
Um, so you have to do things quite uh, deep in technology to make it run. However, we use uh, some, um, some basic materials from different suppliers in the world, yes. And there are not so many actually who can produce very good quality products. You can't, the typical membrane, so you have to find specialists and you work very closely with specialists to get your, your technology in your IEM system. It's, it's very special. And by the way, the, even the core material supplier for us, so where is a one, one sheet where we actually buy, um, is exclusive only for us. So there is no way to buy it on the commercial market. This is, let's say, our own recipe we are using and no one else is using a catalyst. However, we are starting our, a cooperation with Johnson Matthew. Our own catalyst, but we are starting a cooperation okay. with Johnson Matthew for scaling the amount of products because they, they can product, produce things in a much better way than we. We, we are also, also uh, very reluctant to sell, let's say, stacks. And the reason is that to have high performance in a system, every single mount, the way that you mount it, the way how you code it, the way how you treat it, um, the way how it's electric-wise, let's say, um, built in, uh, the way how the mechanics around work, is, um, makes the performance of the system. If you, if you change somewhere, so let's say only the coating of the, of the anode, uh, the cathode somehow, if you change a little bit materials, the thickness, the frame size, the, the water flow, here, you have to change everywhere a little bit as well, and also performance and also the software. So therefore, um, you have to see um, an electrolyzer like a battery system. So you know how you visited YesTee's headquarters, and he was wondering what your impression of it was and whether it has impacted on your future um, plans. Mm -hmm. So I am uh, absolutely appreciated this kind of visit because I was impressed about the quality of work what I have seen. For specific wise for multicore, I think that it's a valuable um, um, technology team. What I have seen, I think that many things uh, um, are a little bit similar um, from hydrogen to this kind of uh, um, high tech uh, systems that they are doing. Yeah. So specific wise, uh, gas um, experience and also pressure experience. I mean, what we have done already is that we are completely controlling several stacks together in, in bikes. And our software allows to control hundreds of stacks or even an, almost an unlimited number. So to reduce the price because it's, it's a part of the bundle so that we are doing this kind of control. So we want to allow with this kind of control technique um, that um, the entire container can, can dynamic react on renewable energy. So you have to understand that renewable energy is highly fluctuating. So what we do is with a lot of stacks that we switch on and off the stacks over the time in this kind of system. So our 420 are highly dynamic, which no single stack solution can do. This is a huge advantage. Another advantage is that we can do plug and play um, services like data centers from computers where you plug one computer out and the entire system runs, continues to run. Same with our electrolyzer. So you have some service areas, you actually uh, use the service areas to plug in and out and the entire system still runs around them. So, um, so the, the, it's, it's a one megawatt system. So it's, uh, however, so um, you should not only um, think about um, from the energy consumption, you should always think about efficiency of the system itself. Multicore is, uh, or even let's say our um, small electrolyzers are, um, belongs to the most efficient electrolyzer systems on the market. You wanted to know why you do this and what makes you so passionate about this? Okay, but here this is clear. So, I mean, when you do the business in your life and you always think about how people use it and you can make money. In this, what we are doing here with hydrogen is we might change the world to the positive. Electricity and electric and saving of energy, which is let's say hydrogen, is the only way 
and it must be cheap. So, and we think we found the formula, making hydrogen cheap. And this is something positive. So maybe in 20 years, more people have, have energy and have hydrogen, they can cook with hydrogen. And the world become, let's say, a better place because also we reduce CO2 footprint. I mean, this is a great thing. So I could retire also very nicely.